Welcome to Office 365 training. Today we're going to talk about adding users to the Active Directory or Office 365. So let's check that out. Now don't forget to subscribe because I do have a big list of things we're going to talk about. So let's get into this one first. Before we begin, please take a moment to say hi, hello, or present. It's sort of like a roll call in the class. That way I know you're present and you're interested in this type of content in the comments below. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video. Here we go. We're going to talk about users first because it's the very first thing that we see here. When we click on active users, we can see that all the users that are installed there. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to click add user. All right. So first person we're going to create is Sally and we're going to give her a last name of Mo. Why not? Then if we hit tab, it's going to automatically populate our display name, which is just a wonderful. All right, guys. So we're going to create a user which is going to be added into Active Directory. But guys, this is not Active Directory that you might be thinking of if you're thinking of Microsoft servers, like server, I don't know, 2016, right? It's not the same as a domain Active Directory. Now, admittedly, once you create Admin Center, once you create and sign up for Microsoft 365 for your business, you create a domain or a domain is created to you so you can add it to your business name or your business website. So if I have CosmicNova.com, I could have created it under CosmicNova.com. But in this case, I just chose it to create a domain on Microsoft itself. So you can see here it says domain, domains right here, and it says CosmicNova.onMicrosoft.com because I didn't want to associate CosmicNova.com with this account at all because it's for educational purposes that being said this is not the same active directory that is in your business environment when you go to work for somebody and you log into your computer and the login id and password you use is going to be for active directory the main controller that's for your business which most likely will be a server microsoft server microsoft 365 office 365 has Active Directory as well and its own separate domain that just functions separately. Yes, you can log into your computer using Microsoft account and you could probably make it work somehow with Office 365, but I want you to understand that this Active Directory in Office 365 is separate and different from server Active Directory. Again, I'm not saying you can't make it work together but this is just how it is. And at, the, at least at this point, when you work at for somebody, when you go to work for somebody, you log in, you're going to use the main credentials from Active Directory that's separate from this one. Okay, I just want to make sure that this is clear. Moving on, we're going to name her or give her a Sally M as username. Matter of fact, we're going to keep it lowercase because it's easier to remember and easier to type. Automatically here where it's checked automatically create a password. I'm going to leave that as it is by default This is what you get and that's fine It depends on the business if they have these requirements But this is what you want the required user to change their password when they first sign in that's normal You don't want to know their password. This is a security thing. You want this checked send password and email upon Completion you can certainly do so and then you know type in the name of whoever you know it, it could be their boss that might want to know i don't know it just depends on the business you know but for training purposes because i want to know the real password and i want to show you guys how this you can immediately log in once i create this i'm going to show you this i'm just going to do this here just for the sake so that i can get actual password at the end right away okay so we can log in as sally mo that's what i'm trying to say so again this is how we're going to do it but this other stuff needs to be checked usually in a business we're doing this for educational purposes. All right, location, United States. You can change this to whatever, that's fine. Assign a user a product license. So this is very important because Office 365 gives you different licenses depending who it is. If it's a manager, he may have to get a different license. If it's a tech guy, IT guy, you know, one of us guys, then he may have to get a different license. Or if it's just a user, he may get a totally you know, very limited license, you know, just to use the office, basically. So this is a educational version of Office 
uh, admin center that Microsoft gave me. So the options I have is A1 for faculty and A1 for students. We're going to assume faculty is on manager level, right? So we're going to select that just for the sake of for the sake of simplification, right? For this case, we're just going to leave it user, no admin center access. They don't need to have access to any of this stuff. You know, they even if their manager doesn't mean um, that they have that we're going to allow them to do this unless it's later requested, then we can go back in and change it, right? I mean, this is, you know, here's a profile info. You can type in certain things to populate their, you know, information and you can certainly do so office location address their phone number i don't know five 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 mobile phones you know all of this stuff you can certainly fill in but you can also fill it in uh, later and i'm pretty sure users themselves can change this information as well okay so here's what we have we have sally mo and she's given and login ID, which is an email address in this case, right? It's 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 a login ID, but it's also an email address. It's also your access to everything else that Office 365 uh, allows or provides, I should say. So if we're happy with all of this, I, I am. So I'm just going <laughs> to click finish adding. 